Good morning, Mr. Andrews. As you know, for the past few years, certain companies have been wreaking havoc in the folding carton industry by offering below-cost products together with poor quality and service. This picture was taken of the top executives of the three largest competitors at a recent golf outing. Although they have hurt Malno's business, it has also created an opportunity for those willing to take advantage of their short-sighted plans. Lee, we realize that this will not be easy, especially since Malno have lost $40 million of business related to several large accounts. We know this will be a daunting task, but you will not be alone in this endeavor. We have assembled the best people from across the country to assist you in this effort. Bob Michaels, Western Division, a.k.a. St. Nick, ironically hates little children has the ability to make an incendiary device out of old cliff bars. Steve Feinberg, a.k.a. the Unilever Bomber, plays a wicked piano, speaks two languages, English and New Yorker. David Martinez, currently lives in Florida, bilingual, excellent mechanic, used to drive getaway cars for previous employers. Monty Miller Time Miller once was overheard saying that he eats breakfast 500 feet from the enemy that is trained to shoot him on sight. Apparently flashes back to the old schedule board system. Don Soden, customer service extraordinaire, a.k.a. the peacemaker. Can't we all just get along? Known for his kind and thoughtful presence and his penchant for delighting customers all over the world. Anthony Shun, a.k.a. MacGyver, mechanically inclined, can operate any piece of machinery, fix almost any problem, but a nomad with no known permanent address. Tom Bundy, Western Region, frequently found in the Napa Valley area, also known as the Green Mountain Man, drinks coffee all day but still naps every afternoon. Clem Brown, a.k.a. Philly Cheese, can still play ball with the best of them and the only original member of the IM Force still with us. Dale the Hulk Hulk uses his incredible strength to bend the will of salespeople to his way of thinking. Said to be hard-headed, but with a heart of gold. Laura Hawks, the Crispy Queen, sings and dances, charming and disarming, known to have the ability to sell refrigerators to the Eskimos. Mark James, logistics expert, a.k.a. the Miracle Man, constantly makes the impossible customer demands look easy, once delivered a semi-trailer full of cartons before the customer even knew he needed it. Tim Jehoviak, a.k.a. Money, handles the laundry at home and at the office, currently unavailable as he's building a seaside home in the Caymans. Sean McKean, cutting specialist, a.k.a. Edward Scissorshand, not real handy, but known for having a knife for every occasion. Double knifing is his specialty. Ken Sloan, known as Cowboy Up, firearm specialist, claims he can shoot the wings off a fly from 200 yards with a beer in one hand while holding his cell phone with his other. Rick Ziegler, cutting genius, a.k.a. Alexander I am in control, Haig. Due to the frequent absences by his current plant manager, he is constantly hounded by fellow workers, really likes to have things in order. Can be heard muttering, Dale who? Andrew Sloan, a.k.a. Rookie, athletic, tall, dark, and handsome, fancies himself a ladies' man, hopes to play professional volleyball if this carton career doesn't work out. Lee, we have many, many more to choose from, but unfortunately, this tape is about to self-destruct. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to convince Peter, Joe, and Dan that you have not lost your marbles and will find a way to get Melnov sales to exceed $200 million. Of course, should any of your IM force be caught slacking off, missing budget, or otherwise fail, Melnov will disavow any knowledge of their mission. Good luck, Lee. This tape will self-destruct in three seconds.
Tim, I have your deposits for today.